Hey guys, Kevin Muldoon here. Last week I did a power test between different USB Type-C cables, such as this. The Type-C cable is the one that's reversible and it's used on phones such as this Google Nexus 6P. Now the test didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I got some strange results when I started testing them using Ampere, which is, show you here, this is the application that I used last week. And that, what that does is that measures the power of a particular cable or charger. But what I've did instead is, over the course of four or five days, I used, if you can find it, I used Battery Doctor. So what I did was, I set up the same conditions every night, and I drained the battery of the Google Nexus 6P down to around 1%. Then once it hit 1%, I charged the phone. I didn't do anything with it until it was fully charged in the morning. And this app, Battery Doctor, provides you with some feedback about how long it took to actually charge the phone. Now, again, I don't really trust these results. You know, that they're a little bit misleading. But you can see here, the charge history. This application, if you click on it here, it keeps a report. Yeah, so what it does is, when you check it in the morning, you get a charge history that's something like that. If we can get it in focus. Recharge four times a day. So what I'll do is say normal, charged it for 25 minutes. So, I used four different cables and they were all used under the same conditions. But, as I said, I didn't really get the results that I wanted to, but I'll explain the results first and then I can explain why I think that. First thing I tested was the official cable. Now, again, I got my Google Nexus from France, so that's why I've got the, the travel adapter to it. Now, this was the quickest. It's I charged it from 16 minutes past midnight to 2.35 a.m. I was on 8th of February and it took 2 hours 19 minutes. So that was the official charger. From 1% to full, Barry Doctor says it was 2 hours and uh, 19 minutes. So the next one I tried, I believe was this one. So this is the Ranky cable. Now I got this from Amazon and this is USB to USB type C. And I charged this from 1.16 a.m. to 10 a.m. 10.01 a.m. 10.01 a.m. sorry and that was the 9th of February and this one took 8 hours 45 minutes other the other cables got similar results this is the data cable that you get with the Google Nexus 6P this one um, took where is it yep it took 8 hours 57 minutes so I charged it from 12 past 1 in the morning to 10.09 a.m. and that was on 10th of February so this again this was 8 hours 57 minutes very similar to the other one. And finally, the other one I did was a Lenovo cable. So this is a standard Micro B Lenovo cable. And like the Ranky, I used the Lenovo adapter with it. And I've got the Tronsmart adapter on it. It goes from Micro B to Type C. And this took seven hours, 22 minutes. That was from 01.59 a.m. to 09.21 a.m. That was on the 11th of February. Now, the official charger took 2 hours 19 minutes from 1%. All the other ones took around 8 hours. The thing is, what this actually highlights is that the official charger charged the phone up, according to Battery Doctor, in 2 hours 19 minutes. The other chargers, the, the time of 8 hours, it really corresponds to the, the time that I went to bed and the time that I opened the phone up in the morning. So... All of the, the, these all stopped charging when I unplugged it in the morning. So basically, what's happening is Battery Doctor's saying that this charged in two hours, 19 minutes. It's saying that these other cables, they got to 100%, but they were still charging at the time. Now, I don't know why that is. I don't know why these other cables aren't charging it in the same way and aren't stopping charging. But it did say that the official cable, the one with the big adapter here, it did say that that one took two hours, 19 minutes. The other ones... They were at 100% when I picked up the, the cables in the morning. But, you know, it does it does seem like Battery Doctor is still measuring it as if it wasn't 100% full. So, I'm not sure what to take from that. 
but it does kind of back up what we saw in the last video again that the official charging cables from cable from cable from Google sorry the official charging cables from Google seem to be the best they seem to be the most reliable but again I'm relying on applications such as Ampere and Battery Doctor in order to test these things so I'm not sure whether real life situations are different. What I have found as well when I've been using these other cables to charge my phone is that they do charge slower but they do still charge within a couple of hours you know perhaps double the time but you're still charging your phone so it's not a big problem. So I hope you found this video useful um, I don't think I'll be touching upon this subject again but I did think it was quite interesting to look at different cables for the Type-C USB standard and I've not seen anything to suggest otherwise that the official cables are not the best but I wouldn't rule out, you know, these cables are more expensive from Google so if you do see another solution I wouldn't hold back from doing so thanks for watching guys, till next time, take care